Welcome back. Let's play some more 10 minute games uh, in our normal game category. Uh, cool. All right. I finally got my globe animation there going so we can see. Good luck. As time progresses, we'll see that um, shape on the right rotate. All right, so I keep instilling in myself that it's perfectly fine to um, move the rook here for tactical reasons. Now, I think I might have messed up in this case because the king actually defends this point. So the standard counter of bishop drop here is already handled. Um, what has my interest, however, is that this diagonal is wide open and the lance is hanging. Uh, so, all right, let's proceed. <laughs> Three minutes is fun as well. Yeah, I remember at the beginning of this, I was trying to figure out, do I want to do 10 second or 10 minute? And I settled on 10 minute ultimately here. But, um, yeah, there are other time controls on this website. Um... All right. Well, if I do nothing, then the rook protects the lands, so let's take the rook. We get something for our troubles. Um, and I seem to remember that a best attempt is to defend this point with a gold and just weather the storm over here. I think could be wrong. But yeah, our proverb that we started this live stream was with the rook's page is the silver. And I guess a page refers to like the concept from medieval ages of a page boy or a page, a person in servitude of another. So the silver is serving the rook. Um, this is interesting. I could drop a rook here, and we could have an exchange. Otherwise, their horse escapes, and I profit none. Um, hmm. But that would be admitting that I messed up. That would involve an admission. Am I prepared to admit that I messed up? I don't know. I probably should be. All right. Um, so they can exchange the horse off to prevent me from getting a dragon. Alternatively, they could drop a bishop to protect this bishop. And I didn't see that until I just started talking about it. Uh, but a bishop is kind of a fun piece. In the opening, it's easier to work with than a rook is. Um, but now we don't have to fear bishop drops. We just have to fear rook drops. Although those rook drops that we fear are mighty terrifying, I'll tell you. If I take here, bishop takes, then I get a dragon. They can drop a rook here. Uh, I think it's okay. Let's find out. Where's life without a sense of adventure? Okay. I'm hanging a knight and a lance. That's cool, I guess. Um. Nanafun. Hmm. Well, let's see where that ends up. I. <laughs> I might need to study this a bit more. See. Clearly, 
after they moved the king, I should not have proceeded moving my rook to file 3 because of all the danger that we are now observing. Um, but now we know. One step at a time. Um... Yeah, I don't have any idea what to do here. Our opponent's position is well defended, and they are still threatening drops in our camp that are not easy to deal with. So that's an issue. Um... We have two pawns in hand. That might be our key out of this. Let's give this a shot. We have to start somewhere. I'm going to have to get my alarm clock before it sounds. Okay, hopefully that silences it. So yeah, they get to choose where to move this silver to defend this point. But the silver can only defend one of these two points at a time. Um, I'm going to lure the silver forward so I can hit it with a bishop. And then let's drop our rook back. Again, preparing this bishop drop. It's an idea. It's not perfect. But we have to try something. Okay, they defend the silver. Um... Hmm. Go home. This seems to welcome a fork, right? All right. I guess I should use the fork. They're going to drop a rook in response to this, but that can't be helped. Um, but after the recapture, then I have another fork back here. I didn't even see that recapture. That's pretty aggressive, but clever. Regardless, pieces are loose, so it's my turn to attack. You created an account four days ago. Oh, that's exciting. Don't get addicted to this. It's fun. But how fun is it? Um, wow. Well, that's sharp. Our book reading live stream didn't have this exact position. Um, I wish it did. <laughs> that would save me a lot of anguish. Because uh, this is actually quite a mess. Hmm. If I move the silver up, horse takes silver. I should have moved the silver up long ago, but um, I've not done it, so now I'm in trouble.
Our opponent does not have a gold general in hand just yet. But they're getting one soon. That sucks. Sampun. If I drop my bishop to defend my king, maybe I live. Let's try that. Let's try to live. We still have this fork. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's issues with the ranking and rating system for sure. Um, also, good morning, Shogi explained. Good early morning. <laughs> um, yeah, I checked out part of Shogi Harper's VOD about the book reading stream about endgame survival. Saw a couple comments from you there too, although I was speeding through it uh, a bit hastily because I care for um, our reading. I'm not as excited about the artwork as most folks, but it's good we have diverse interests and such. Um, oh wait, if they drop a knight, uh, king runs up and maybe I live. Hopefully. We'll find out. Ah, okay, so I overestimated the threat. You know, with my timer ticking down, it occurred to me that I might be overestimating it. It also occurred to me, you know, I probably should err on the side of caution, unlike most of my games. Um, they still have this work drop threat, but... Uh, I'm threatening this, so probably they're going to take that first. Uh, take my bishop. Um, or take my lance. If they're greedy. Um, if they are greedy, maybe I drop a pawn back there. And I survive against... Okay, wow. That is super greedy. For what benefit, I don't know. I don't know what they're hoping to achieve with that. Alright, let's take this. If I exchange bishops, I'm in greater peril than if I just let this fester. Now I'm threatening a pawn drop with a mate threat. But if they exchange, then I might drop the pawn on my back rank instead after their dragon shows up on my doorstep. But yeah, this seems like it's blocked by the horse. So they're going to have to waste a tempo getting out of this. Now, if they exchange bishops and move the dragon here, I probably drop a gold there to protect my butt. Yeah, finally got the XKCD uh, world clock thing animating. So every five minutes it updates and shows the real world time. It took me long enough to get that working, but... Um, it's cool to see it in action. You, it took me a long time and many different attempts at looking at all the free software implementations that are out there. Um, trying to implement a client-side local clock that shows all that and dynamically like updates. 
even this one that I found didn't completely work at first, so it took quite a bit of effort. And then there was some fighting between this software and OBS. I had to figure that out too. But hey, it works now. So, uh, it's quite useful, I think. Um, we're going to retain the threat on this gold. It's a mistake I've made previously uh, when fighting against Anaguma, is giving up the threat on the back rank. So now they pin my silver. <clears throat> and they were pinning my silver and threatening to take their... Uh, Nikes. I don't know, man. What do we do now? Oh, we try to threaten mate, right? Um, yeah, I recognize my voice just changed. Sometimes, yeah, I have vocal fry when I wake up and, I don't know, I'm less than extremely energetic. Um. All right, we threaten your lance. What's your move? This is going to be epic. Um. Mm -hmm. 1分 30秒. The silver has nowhere to move. Rather than exchanging willy-nilly, let's throw this in first. Then we can exchange willy-nilly. It's their turn. What are they going to do? I guess they could drop a pawn. That would be a reasonable attempt here to continue consolidating their castle. It's not perfect, but it would delay my dragon by one move if they were to put this here, and then were to take and then take here next. And then they have to drop some. Well, they, it's hard for them to defend this gold. The king could come over to defend it, but then they have a silver, and I could take out the back of their castle some other way. The lance is blocked by the knight. They might sack the knight just so they can get some pieces flowing. Uh, they don't. Okay. Mate in one. At some point you have to respond to my threat. I mean, yeah, I guess I should just take this knight, right? Um, or maybe that's tremendously perilous and I should have taken the lance first. This website's so addictive. It really is. Um, Yeah, I'm dissatisfied with myself about how I handled this situation. Uh, this is interesting. Thanks for the game. Wow. All right. Well, that that was one heck of a conclusion. Uh, in time pressure, we both made severe errors. Let's take a deep breath before moving on to game two. 
That was a bit much. That was a bit much. All right, let's try to make game two more accurate. <laughs> Good luck. All right, the bishop line is not open here. So I'm going to do this, even though I might not need to. I'm going to close the bishop line. Just try to keep things simple for once and we'll watch how quickly they get complex again. Um, here we go. Hmm. Now if I play the silver up, they play the silver, I push here. Yeah, my attack is faster. Let's do it. Whoa, fun. <laughs> that looks fun. All right. Um... Since the bishop's not defended, let's open this diagonal back up. Um, where do I want my silver? I think back over here. Yeah, I think this is sensible. All right, their bishop is defended now, so they could offer a bishop exchange with their king sitting in the center of the board. That is possible. Is it advisable? Probably not. Um, that's incredible. Um, sure, let's open this position. This seems like a great time for a mutual attack. I mean, yeah, ideally, I would like one more turn to complete my castle first, but, you know, this is the time we want to fight. I'm okay with that. Um, if I push on the edge, I've got a pawn in hand. I can break the edge open. We just learned about how to do that recently. Our opponent wants to use this open diagonal. Um, I could move the lance up, but uh, it's not even worth it, is it? Okay, we're going to try to... Okay, have a good one. Uh, no, if I push this and then drop a pawn, I don't have a follow-up here. I thought I did. I don't. Uh, wait a second, why am I not moving this knight? Nanafun. Hmm... Interesting. I place my last pawn in hand onto the board. My plan is either to use this knight to win this pawn, 
or to go about spearing the sparrow on the edge file here. Um, probably the former, right? Nothing can defend this, so let's just take it. Um, maybe I was overly eager. Maybe I was extremely overzealous here. Hmm. Yeah, I might have serious problems very soon. I thought that I had this outnumbered because I can't count. So this position gets much more difficult now. Um... Strange. Oh, they want my knight. I don't think them taking my knight was the point of contention here. I mean, they're gonna get my knight. Sure. Um... No, the point of contention is after they take my knight, what happens next? So I've broken the edge. I have two extra pawns. That's not nothing. My silver protects the rook's ear. So arguably, if I take this pawn and then push this edge, um, that's a form of progress. Um, our opponent surely will find something to do in that time, but that doesn't completely negate what I've done. Now they have this fork. All right, let's have some fun. Are they going to drop this here forking my Goku. pieces? Or are they going to instead allow some tactics? So now, yeah, they could move this to attack my rook. I could move my rook to attack the horse. Meanwhile, I'm also attacking this lance. They could promote their rook and take out my rook while I take their horse and the lance. Um, my argument, however, is that I get something out of this deal. And I do. Is it what I thought I was getting? Not at all. But uh, I got something. Something's better than nothing. Um... They're going to drop another piece to continue hitting my rook. All of their pieces are going to end up very far away from my king. And I'll still have some pieces in hand. So it's fine. Or they could take my pawn and um, it's not so easy to deal with. Yeah, they protect the silver, sure. 
it's fine. Um, Okay, let's aim at the weakness here. And my rook is no longer hanging. If they take this lance, well, I could drop a pawn, and this they'd actually have a knight recapturing my pawn in response. So actually, yes, this lance is hanging for not very much good. But no, wait, I have a knight drop that forks the dragon in silver. That would be... Okay. Probably not the best use of the move to try to win uh, silver for a knight, especially the silver way out here, but I could do it. Really what I want is to be able to drop my bishop on this diagonal and take this lance and hopefully get a really fast attack, but this requires an error on the opponent's part. Um, I could drop my bishop here, actually. It's not easy to contend with. Um, so yeah, they commit their bishop to an easy square to target. Um, I'll move my rook out of dodge. And next... Uh, work on surrounding their bishop. Hmm. Three My position's quite bad, isn't it? It's dawning on me slowly just what a mess this is. And how difficult it is to harden this castle. Um, Nifun Sanjubio. Hmm. No. Um. Nifun. Trying to find an attacking idea here. All right, well, here's one. So, yeah, you know, we defend against the head. This knight takes idea. Fair enough. 
1分30秒Yeah, my castle is highly unstable at this point. Um... That should help a bit. I'm trying to think of a new castle shape, um, but possibly just rebuilding Mino. No, that's not a good use of time. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I lost a tempo there. Should have just taken the pawn. Should have just taken the pawn. Now we have this, and it's a mess. I'm in time pressure, so I'm playing hastily, which is probably causing further errors. I don't know how to defend against their attack, so I just continue attacking, but this is getting me in deeper and deeper trouble. Yeah, 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 I saw that. A mile away, but didn't know what to do about it. Um, let's try this.
20秒。10秒。Thanks for the game. That was exciting. Another deep breath. Holy moly. This is anxiety inducing, isn't it? Alright, one more. Here we go. Good luck. Hmm, I should have pushed this, shouldn't I? Let's push it now. Alright, they closed the diagonal, which is really all I was asking for. Hmm. Curious. I think I should take this. I'm not totally sure. Because I can expel this silver quite easily here. Hmm. I see my opponent is nervous. Yeah. They've built one hell of a castle. So... Hopefully I can find a plan against it. Wait, what? Um, I have 
no choice but to take this. Um, okay, we're going to perform in similar fashion to the previous game. Oh, but the silver's protected now, if they retreat. Oh. Well, I didn't see that coming. I think it's okay, though. Okay, you can have my rook. It's fine. I've got a bishop. Our bishop is our new favorite piece in the game of Shogi. Yeah, rooks are cool and all, but bishops are pretty nice. Oh. Okay, I can't play the fork that, like, clearly is there, but it's not there, because the rook is defending it. Nanafun. Interesting. Um... Alright, let's defend the knight, then. Oh, now my bishop's hanging. Okay. They say don't run from a fork. Bad stuff usually happens when you run from a fork. But what can I do? Alright, you get my bishop. I get your rook. I've built a castle. You've built a castle. This is going to be interesting. This pawn takes pawn threat here is quite severe, so I have to take it. Now my lance is hanging, but I couldn't help that. This pawn takes was a severe attack. This is not quite so severe, even though it hits a silver. Um... It hurts a lot, though. For a second I thought I had a knight in hand and could just drop it there. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, I might get my rook trapped if I'm not careful. On the other hand, being careful is kind of antithetical to what I should be doing here. I should be fighting, not fearing. Um... I mean, I considered dropping a pawn on this file as well, but could not find a constructive tactic there. Oh, hey, look, I'm losing Gofu. my rook. This game might be a loss. Um, Alright. We'll get something for the rook. We have a silver. We're going to get another knight. might someday add up to something. I wouldn't bet on it, but it could.
Um, let's make the obvious threat. Yeah, that sucks for us, but we have a tactic. Mm -hmm. we'll attempt to rebuild a castle. We have five pawns in hand. Five chances to go wrong. Um... Let's take this before we can no longer do so. All right. Yep, you get my piece. I get a piece. This is not. I mean, yeah, this hurts a lot. Sure. Um. I guess this is why they say don't run from a fork, because, like, nothing constructive came from running there. Fine. You're going to spend some time collecting this. We'll try to make a threat. Actually make a threat. Let's see how they respond. They do need to respond to threats. Okay, they're exposing their horse on this diagonal. Let's take here. Oh, I was considering next a silver drop right there. In principle, it makes sense. In practice, not so much. Um. Hmm. Yeah, because this is a dragon, not a rook, so this whole fork idea falls apart. Taking the gold would have been ignored since. Um, although, like, their king is extremely well defended. So, taking the gold has some other problems. Okay, my knight has nowhere else to go, so let's move the knight. Um, Nifun. We'll be a little bit greedy here. Well spotted, sir. Guess I'm not the only one who gets to use this tactic. Yeah, that's pretty severe. Wow, that sucks. That sucks a lot. There's nothing I can do to mitigate that. That's why you don't get greedy.
greed does not pay. So yeah, I have to pray for a miracle that somehow I get to take the horse and drop a silver here and somehow it all works. Which seems extremely unlikely. Um, but at present, that's the hope. That somehow I get exactly the right pieces for this to break through. Ipun. I guess let's also try to distract this dragon so it's no longer pinning. I had no choice, right? Um. I mean, sure, this is extremely desperate, but what can we do? Thanks for the game. Well played. Finally, my win streak breaks. So that takes us back to our results screen. Yeah, we're gradually making progress toward one don somehow. Um, a few days ago we were at 15%, now we're back below 40. Uh, I expect we'll be up and down and up and down quite a bit because the gap between... Well, yeah, this there's 100 points at least between 1Q and one don. Um, it's not like our other ranks and other time controls. Uh, where you're able to easily jump one level at a time just by winning a game. So expect to be in one queue for a very long time. Uh, but, you know, we'll make progress. We'll see if we can learn things along the way. Uh, these games yield a need for further study, so we'll do that uh, as time allows. Welcome back. Unfortunately, I have to get ready for work at this point, uh, but... Yeah, we'll be again on this site sometime soon. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching.